Hello and welcome back to Guild Wars 2. Here we are in Lion's Arch at the former Lion Shadow Inn, also known as the Lumin, with the Luminati. Right now we're going to try our hand at yet another set of bounty missions. We're going to be given two targets. We have to hunt them down and kill them within 15 minutes. Now that's just tier 1. We're going to be trying tier 1 and tier 2 in this video. I'm terrified. We tried this last night, and it was the biggest, most chaotic mess ever. So Helene, I think, is sitting with her finger ready to click the activate button. I'm opening my guild panel right now to see. And we have scouts all around the world waiting. They found a couple of the bounties already. So we're hoping that we're going to be able to track them down and kill them quickly. We'll see. I think once she clicks it, chat is going to be spammed with waypoints. Because I'm pretty sure that some of our guildmates have already found them. Here we go, here we go, it's coming. Oh! <laughs> Devious t -Sau. that's definitely been found. And Brekabek. Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. Rathy Highlands, Hinterlands, sorry, not Highlands. We're not playing World of Warcraft right now. Because World of Warcraft does not have guild bounty missions. No! No, this is Guild Wars 2. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to. Every opportunity I get, I have to. Where is she? Where is that woman? No, this is not that woman! This is Brickabick! Okay, Brickabick. Let's do this. Let's engage in glorious battle. For some reason, my sound is actually bugged out. And. Man. You know what? I'm switching to daggers. These things do a lot of damage because the more members. Oh my goodness! Jeez Louise. I nearly died. I'm just gonna stand back here and shoot a couple of arrows that are. But you know what? No, I can't do that. I'm gonna get up into the thick of it. No. No. This is really bad. Okay, I'll switch into my bow. I'm gonna stay as far as I possibly can away from this guy. Because apparently he does way, way, way too much damage. And my game is lagging way, way, way too much. Look at all these people. These are all Luminati members. How did they all get here so quickly? That is amazing. Helene was worrying that her loading screen would still be going by the time this person dies. And, you know, that's a very valid concern. Sometimes this game just loads way too long. We're killing him, we're killing him. We're killing him, come on, come on, come on. Rush! Oh, it's done. And he just disappeared incredibly quickly. I don't know if you guys spotted that, but when they die, this big cage comes around them, and then it sort of signifies that they were captured. And that's it. Event successful. The other one is... Is this it? No, that's the one we were just at. Let's see if someone else linked it. There you go. Yaks bend. No. Can I? No. There's no way I make it up there before they kill that person. No way. But you know what? I'm Lumen. I'm Lumen, and I'm gonna try. What? Where must I start? How do I even get there? Is there an exit somewhere up here? Is that an exit? No, you know what? It probably isn't. I need to go through the level 1 to 15 area. I haven't been up there. Okay, wait. I'll just watch guild chat for status updates. All these people are either in the same boat as me, or... Hey, what's guild fun doing here? Or they just have really slow PCs. Did we just steal... Guild Funds Bounty. Huh. Okay, let's have a look at what rewards I got. These are my personal rewards. Every single guildmate that participated now and attacked the NPC will get the personal rewards. So, there are a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Really cool goodies that you can get from here. I'm hoping it's something good. What? Two items that I can actually use. Wow! That's not bad! I mean, I assume I'll get better stuff if I'm level 80, because it gave me level 60 gear, and it did that because I am in fact level 60, but these are decent. These are not half bad. And obviously the 50 coins... That is pretty amazing. That's... a lot of money. It really is. Now... I'm just waiting for them to take this person down. Are they waiting for more people? Because I see on Eileen's screen that there are a whole bunch of them there already. 
I am still yak yakin. Hold on. There we go. What? What? Where's my whispers? Oh my goodness. I see. So they still haven't killed it, if I'm not mistaken, or have they? Did they kill it? Let's have a look. Oh, they did. So now we've done tier one. I'm not even sure if we're ready. If our guild is ready for tier two. I'm not sure. Because what happens with tier two is we have to hunt down three people. Now, we've got 15 minutes to do so, but it could be any three from the long list of possible bounty NPCs. And if I'm not mistaken, it's something like 15 or 16 of them. And they are spread out all over Tyria. All over Tyria. I'm not sure if there are any down in the Ruins of Ore. Like at the bottom of the map here. But I know that they could be pretty much anywhere on the rest of the map. Now we have some incredibly, incredibly dedicated guildmates running around looking for them already. Because you've got to keep in mind that it could actually, once again... Be the same ones that we just had, or ones that are totally different. So when we do activate this, it's going to be a mad rush again to try and find out where these NPCs are. If we can get enough people to them in time to kill them, you know, before the 15 minutes are up. And, you know, to see if everyone can at least get there to get their own personal rewards. Because I think some people may well not have made it this time around. I'm going to go back to the former Lion Shadow Inn right now. What? Oh, found again. Really? Bobory found her again. Did she respawn that quickly? Man. But I'm gonna go back to the Lumin right now to see if anyone's still waiting there or if anyone returned wasting one silver and a half. I can't believe that. I was told that with these merits, is it the merits that you get it with? You can reduce waypoint costs for a certain amount of time. Give me some of that. Please give me some of that. I'm not sure if it's like a buff for 48 hours or whatever, but that is probably one of the most useful guild upgrades ever. Because these waypoints, they bleed me dry. I don't know if it's just me, but I need to use them. I don't like running from like here all the way to there if I can use a waypoint to get there. Now this is just an example, obviously, because this costs nothing in Lion's Arch, but the same could be said for, you know, if I'm going from the Escalon settlement waypoint all the way over there, it's fun and all running through here, but if I've cleared the area and I know exactly what's between those two waypoints, then I don't always want to do it. So if we can reduce that cost, that'd be amazing. Ooh, this guy's got a legendary. Where is it? That is not the legendary. Is it? No. No. He's got this incredibly big, shiny looking hammer of sorts. Or she. I guess it could be a she. <laughs> and that's the Arya Stark face, isn't it? Or is it just the Arya Stark hair? I'm not entirely sure. But there's a legendary in that character. So you just watch out for it. You just watch out. Along with Wild Z. Wild Z also has a legendary. Man, I'm jealous of those people. One day. One day Lumen or Juniper Lee will be walking around with a legendary strapped to his or her back. Phew. So I'm wondering where our next bounty is going to be. I hope that I'm actually going to be able to get to see all three of them. You know, maybe we get lucky. Maybe they're in some of the low level areas. Because yesterday when we tried the bounty missions, and I said before I didn't record them because it was a crazy rush. It was a crazy rush because I had to teleport to... Well, the first one was over here. Okay, the first one was in the Fields of Ruin. And it was at the... Tyler's Bouviac Waypoint. We teleported there, we ran just outside the camp. And that was where we found the... Script? It might have been a script? I'm not even sure. Then the other one was in Lornar's Pass where I hadn't been yet. Over here. So what I had to do was, I had to teleport up to this waypoint, then I ran through there, or was it this waypoint? No, it's this waypoint, then I ran through there, and all the way down this road over here, all the way down the winding road, to the bounty, and I actually made it in time. Because they apparently 
were incredibly close to wiping, and when I arrived there, the morale of the party was just boosted. Everyone was like, hey, hey Lumen's here, let's do this. And then we killed that person, and I didn't get another personal reward. We also found out that personal rewards reset at daily reset time on Saturday. It's kind of weird, to me at least, that they reset the guild missions on Saturday and the World vs. World rankings on Friday. Why not just reset everything at the same time? What takes that all about? And then also, why are the reset times so strange on EU servers? Because we reset in at US times. For what reason? I don't even know. I've got no clue. Look at this armor. Wow. Now that looks glorious. Doesn't it? It really, really does. This looks like a true paladin of, of sorts. You, you wouldn't even know suffer. if you didn't see these claws down here. I'm putting my hand over them right now. You wouldn't even know that that was a char. It could just be a really buff human or norn or something. Goodness, I like it. Horrid Henry. Henry, my man, what are you doing here? H Henry! Henry! H Henry, come back! I want to know a little bit more about you. Oh, goodness. Here he goes. Clambering into the distance. Oh, we only just met Henry. He's out of here. <laughs> okay. So I think Eileen's probably about ready to start the next ones. And I think that our guildmates have once again just fanned out across the map. She was complaining last night, and she said I should actually mention this. She was complaining about the lack of a proper raid interface. You know, if you play in World of Warcraft, you can open your raid panel, then you can see the parties. The eight? Is it eight parties? Or ten parties? Or whatever. All the different parties in the raid, and you can shuffle them around, you can sort of mark them differently, you can do things with them. Oh, Horrid Henry, where's he, where's he, where's he? He actually replied to me. Did he leave again? Oh, he's gone. But you've got some flexibility when it comes to organizing your raid. But with Guild Wars, you have to right click on someone, then go join squad, and then you're like, well, okay, did something really happen? Well, yes, something did happen. You can now type in squad chat. Ridlock, this is it. That's squad I'm chat. Sure Does it do anything for you? No. No, not really, because you could just as well type in guild chat. I don't quite understand it. I also don't quite understand what Sketchy Tass has done with his hair. That is intense, man. Wow. And those six-pack abs, those are also pretty intense. I think I'm going to have to avert my eyes right now. This is getting a little bit too much for me. But you are, in fact, looking rather fly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. Wow. Hold on. Rhea. Rhea, you are quite possibly... I'm bad at typing. Hold on. The most handsome char I have ever seen. You are just radiant. Be a beautiful. Truly, whoa, whoa, truly a sight to behold. Big heart for you. I like it. I think that Rhea chose the perfect armor for her skin color or fur color, and it just works. It really does. Please tell me you're a guardian. Yes, you are. Wow. <laughs> you are most welcome. You are most welcome. And over here, Aruna Los looks kind of like me, except a slightly darker, more grim version of me. You can obviously see in her face. Nearly the same, exactly. She's got more experience than me, and slightly more badass because of those things on her hands, and probably the weapon she's got strapped to her belt there. This is not a thief you'd want to miss. Dual pistol. Is that fun? I've never really considered trying dual pistol out. Look at me. Look at my character. 
getting all up close and personal here. Just watch how they sway around. Oh man, stalker mode activated. <laughs> I don't know if you realized, girl, but you got a secret admirer in Juniper Lee. <laughs> Wait, I gotta move. I gotta move, that's getting creepy. Now, are we ready? I think so. I think that somewhere in private, they're busy organizing all these things. They were like, well, let's not give Lumen any more to worry about. He can just yak, 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 make his videos, and we'll do all the grunt work. And I thank all of you for doing that. Communicating in whispers, chatting around me so that I don't see it, so that I think it's all fun and games, but it's not. No, no, it's hard work. It is hard work spreading out like this, trying to find the bounty NPCs. Helena has not spread out, but she is ready, it seems. Maybe what she's going to do is she's going to wait over here and then run through the nearest gate to reduce her waypoint cost. That would be very Helenish of her to do. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. You know what I can do, however, is just go for a little run around while I wait. Perhaps I'll go repair my gear, level my crafting a little bit. I'm actually going to be putting out crafting episodes at some point. I'm just not sure when. There are so many things that I still need to do in this game. I haven't pushed my crafting past like 50 or 60 on any characters yet because I just haven't had the need. There's always been so much other stuff for me to do that I just haven't felt the urge to try and do like a lot of crafting yet. Oh, look back there. You know what that is? That is the MOA racing track that has not yet been formally established. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. Aha! Juniper Lee is in fact ready. It seems like the entire guild is ready. So let's have a look. Let's open our guild panel here. Come on. Lay it on me. Come on. I'm waiting. She's going to probably do a countdown again or something. And then three names are going to appear. I'm just going to click on the very first waypoint that pops up and teleport to it. Maybe, maybe I'm going to do some trolling quickly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The second she does it, I'm going to link the Lion Shadow in waypoint. And I'm going to see, wait, 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 not the Lion Shadow in, not the Lion Shadow in. I'm going to link the Smuggler's waypoint. <laughs> no, no, that's so cruel. I shouldn't do it. No, I can't. I can't. That was evil Lumen creeping through and I can't do it. Here we go, here we go. I can't because people are going to get stuck on loading screens and I'd feel way too bad if someone says no. What Lumen just did caused me to miss it. There we go. It's again Devious Tisa, Sots the Scallywag, and Shaman Adarus? Ardarus? Havoc Waypoint. What? I've not been there before. Someone else is going to have to get that one. No! No! Who else has the others? No. I'm going to go on a hunch here and just guess that I should be in the Fields of Ruin. Because I think that that one was the one that we did over here. I could be wrong, but I think this is where we did that Scallywag dude. Although he's called a Scallywag. Why would he be in the Fields of Ruin? He's probably in Gendaran Fields. Another set of fields, obviously. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, he's going towards that waypoint. No, no, no. I'm only on 30%. Me too. No. What are we doing? Any of the others? I'm going to check my list now. The Scallywag is in Gendaran Fields. I was right. You have got to be kidding me. I was right. I'm going there right now. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I have no idea where he is. And then the last one. Tisa is in... Frost Gorge Sound. So, my best bet is to run to Gendaran Fields to see if I can find him. I think he's going to be somewhere around the Pirate Island because being a scallywag and all, that's obviously where he's going to be attracted to. So let's go there and see what we can do. 
I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping someone else has already found this NPC and linked the waypoint. But if not, maybe I will be the trailblazer. I'll be the one that finds this gallywag. So let's go. Now, if I think if you get near to it on the map, then it'll show. You'll know if you're close to it. But I'm just not sure. Let's activate my movement speed increase. Bam. And let's go. Vista. That's not going to help me at all. Please tell me someone else is helping me look. Please. Just tell me. That that's happening. Quickly. We don't have much time. I'm going to... I'm going to go on a hunch here. And try... The Almuten Estate. I don't know why here specifically, but it just seems like another location where you could possibly find this guy. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't have a walking path. Oh, no. Zio Mirage just said... Okay, so everyone... Please. Everyone come to Gendoran. To Gendoran. Go, go, go! I'm already here. I'm doing my part. I'm gonna find this guy. I'm gonna be the one. I'm gonna be the one to find him. Quickly. I gotta move faster. I hope that he shows on my map that I'm not just running around for no reason. Where could he be? 300 possible spawn locations. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you've gotta be kidding. Is he there? Go, 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 go. <laughs> yes! Ooh. I'll pretend that I was the one to ask. I didn't even think of that. But I'll pretend that I was the one who asked in map chat where he was. Come on. Come on, Scallywag. Where are you? Is he on the map? Phew. Go through the south entrance and we'll see him. Where is he? Where is he? I mean, I'm here now, but I do not see him. So we just gonna run around and try and find him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Other way, Helene. That way then. No. No. <laughs> okay, wait. Tisa's there, so someone needs to go and kill Tisa. I... Oh, other way. North then? Does he mean north? Not south? That is cruel, man. That is cruel. How much time do we have left? How much time? I should probably not look. It's just gonna... Not on holiday. What the heck? Ten minutes? Does that mean ten minutes have passed? Or we only have ten minutes left? So north. Whew. Let's see if we can find him. My map is so tiny. There we go. Much better. Veteran Skulk Scavenger. That's not him, is it? No, it's not. But I'll take a few shots quickly. <laughs> Because why not? There you go. Bronze for me. Not bad. All in a day's work. Now, where? Helene, go to the left. I'll go to the right. Let's see if we can find him. Unless, I don't know, he's in fact not here. Tisa's dying. Good. Kill Tisa. This is intense. Is, she, is he over there? Did you find him? Oh, she's got him. She's got him. I can't believe that I didn't know. He doesn't show on the map at all. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I came just in time. He moaned, and he belched, and he died. That's it. Sops the scallywag. You're done. Is he... Is he leaving anytime soon? Wow. He must have a lot of pent-up rage. Is that it? Is he... Is he done for yet? No, dude. Dude, how can you still be attacking us from inside that cage? Oh, he's back. What is this? What? What? Listen here. This near sots. You're gonna have to die like right the heck now. Are we doing this? Are we done? Where are they? Oh, we did it! Hey, hey! That's amazing! We finished. Oh, well done. Well done. So, the person that actually found sots was. Where's his name? Boragor. Boragor, you're amazing, man. And you just helped us out 
immensely. I think Sots the Scallywag is kind of bugged or something, but whatever. We got him, and that's all that matters. So sadly, that's going to be it for this episode, or video, or whatever you want to call it, this attempt at bounty hunting. As you can see, it's a kind of chaotic system right now. I don't know. I don't know about it. I'm not sure if I like it. I'm not sure if I like how much it costs to research all these different mission types. It means that small guilds just don't have a chance. You know, if they wanted to do these bounty missions, for instance, they'd have to pay 75k. Influence. Don't want to research the next one, another 75k. What if you're a guild of 10 friends and you just want to have some fun and try what's meant to be fun guild missions and you just can't. So I don't know. I feel like the guild missions are kind of destroying small guilds. <sighs> Partly at least. But we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see how they evolve if ArenaNet actually does something about it. Tries to improve the system to make it work for everyone, to make it more fun and less chaotic. We'll have to see. Because as it stands, it's really, really difficult to organize all of this, to get things set up. You're going to have to have incredibly dedicated players. And, you know, this is just the first set of guild missions. It's the first ones they give you, the bounty missions. We still have all the others to try out. And if they're even more chaotic than this, then I just don't know. But again, that's it for this episode. Check back some more, most importantly, though. Happy trying. The Guild Bounty Missions. Happy that.